Yo, what's up, guys? This your boy D, and I'm back again with another video, man. Today's gonna be a little different. Um, it's more of a a sad, sadder video. Um, as you guys see in the title, I will be talking about Kobe, and um, first off, I want to say, um, you guys already know what happened. Um. You know, Kobe passed away in a helicopter accident on Sunday with his daughter and seven other people. And just a sad tragedy, man. It's just so tragic. Just, it's not even, doesn't even feel right, man. Doesn't even feel real. Um, and I want to say... I want to give my prayers to the Bryant family and the rest of the family that was involved in a part of this accident. It's just, I just hate how it happened, man. I just, I hate it. Like, like, I thought it could have been avoided. Um, and you guys don't really know what happened exactly. Um, basically, um, Kobe was on his way to his daughter's, like, tournament game, and he took the helicopter like he always did for years and years and years, and he had a, you know, the pilot dude, the dude driving the helicopter, he's a veteran, like, he's been working, flying for over 20 years, and 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 apparently it was really foggy it was really foggy outside and it was in the morning and he was just he was just going fast like he, he was going 160 miles per hour which i'm confused about because if it's that foggy why, why don't you just hover just hover over and try to, you know, regain yourself. Like, try to either stop the helicopter, like, land it, or try to, you know, try to regain yourself. Just don't, why are you going so fast? I, I just, I never understood that part. And while they were driving, because the dude couldn't see, he hit a mountain. And... Um, and yeah, and the plane, uh, the helicopter crash, and unfortunately, no, nobody survived, and it's just a sad, like, I don't even, man, I, I really, I just really don't, like, it just doesn't feel right, man, it just doesn't feel right, and it's just like, damn, like, just gets you thinking, man. Life is just so short, man. Like any day can be your last day. That's why you just live to your fullest, man. You just you always make sure to always love your family, man. Show them how much you love them and your friends too. Just, just all the loved ones, man. Just show them how much you love them, man. Cause you never know. You just never know, and it's just hard to talk about it because. Like Kobe was just, he's the reason why I got into basketball. Like, he's, he's the, like, a big part of it. Because, um, I was a Spurs fan. Well, I am a Spurs fan. And I got into basketball back in 05. And that's when Kobe was, like, in his prime. And, like, my favorite player is Michael Jordan. So when I first saw Kobe... I was like, this dude plays like Michael Jordan. I was like, holy crap, this dude plays like Michael Jordan. And... Sorry, that was my phone. And... I was like, wow, this dude plays like Michael Jordan. And... I watched it, and I was like, I was like this dude, he's a beast. Like, he's... He, <laughs> no one can guard him. Like, the post fadeaway, he can dunk on anybody. Like, anything. He can do everything. He had amazing defense. And I was like, this dude is just like Michael Jordan. Like, there's no other person that was closer to Michael Jordan than Kobe. No one. 
Kobe was the closest person to Michael Jordan. And it's sad how Kobe was never discussed as one of the best players of all time. Never. He was never really out there. And how can you be the closest to Michael Jordan but not discussed as one of the best players of all time? Never understood that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, he was just a big part of me liking basketball, just me being into basketball. And just like, he meant, I mean, he meant, he, he, he meant a lot to everybody, man. Like, he impacted so many people, even people that didn't know him. Like, I didn't know Kobe, but he made me play basketball. He, motiv- he gave me the motivation to just work hard. Kobe always said, you can put your mind into anything. You can, you can just, anything you do, it could be reading, it could be video games. Whatever you decide to do, you can get that mindset of just that killer mindset. Like, I want to be the best. Kobe wanted to be the best. He, he gave people the mindset of, I can be the best. I don't have time for games. I want to, be, I want to work. I want to work. I want to work and get better. And that just stuck with me, man. That, like, even now when I play basketball, I have that mindset of I want to be the best on that court. I, I love trash talking. I love interacting. I love the physicality of it. I love everything about it. And a big part of it because of Kobe. And, you know, it's just sad, man. It was just it's a sad thing. I, couldn't, I can't imagine if you actually knew him. How much it hurts right now. Because I'm not going to lie. I was tearing up, man. I was tearing up for days. I, I didn't know. I've never. I've, I'm not an emotional person, really. I'm not a person that's going to cry. I don't usually cry like that. So f- for someone to pass away. That isn't part of my family. Or my friend. My personal friend. Just like some random celebrity. And for him just to. Well, he's not random. He's Kobe, but you know what I mean. Like, but I've never teared up like that ever. I don't. I don't usually tear up, and it just hit me because it's, it's the way it happened. That's that's the saddest part. Is the the way it happened. Like it could have been avoided. It could have been avoided. It could have been avoided. And I'm I'm not putting any blame on nobody, but I'm just saying it could have been avoided, and that's the worst part, man. It didn't have to happen, but it happened, and. It's just sad, man. It's just really sad to think about, man. It's just... And one thing, like, Kobe was, like... Like, he was on his way to, like... Becoming a great in a different field. He was writing books and making anime stories. And he wanted to tell stories about his life and about everything. He wanted to help people. He He was a family first person. But he loved everybody the same. Like, when he retired from basketball, he knew he was done. He knew what he wanted to do after basketball. And he did it. And this man pretty much won an Oscar. Like, that alone is just legendary. That's greatness. When some, I love that. I love seeing somebody that wants it. Doesn't care about the money. Doesn't care about anything else. Fame. He just wants to be great. He wants to help people. And I feel like in a way I relate to Kobe. Like, I have that mindset of I want to be the best. I want to help people. You know, I'm a family person. I'm a, I am I love my loved ones, man. So I, that's why it hit me too, man. I'm like, damn, like, Kobe, like, I'm, like, I, I think like Kobe. Like, I, man, it's just, I relate to him, man. I, I, I feel it, man. Life is hard, man. Sometimes it's just you always question God, like why, like why him, why now? But you're not supposed to question God. God, He knows what He's doing at all times, and and He has a plan. But this one, I just, I don't, I, I don't get it. I'm pretty sure He has, like, He has a plan, but I just don't get this one. I don't, I don't get it. 
but yeah, man, basketball won't be the same, man. It's just, uh, you know, this is like a big thing. If this impact, this impacted everybody, man. This is even people that didn't really know him. This impacted everybody. He Kobe changed a lot of lives, man. Kobe changed a lot. Um, but yeah, guys, that's really all I have to say, man. I mean. Kobe, man, I appreciate you so much, man. Like, I really do hope your family gets all the support, all the love, all the blessings they get. Also, the other families, too. I hope they receive the, the same blessings, too. Because it's just a tragedy, man. It's just... It sucks, man. It sucks. But Kobe, he served his purpose here. He did what he needed to do. He had no regrets. He didn't leave anything behind. 20 years of amazing basketball. Became a writer. Won an Oscar. Or at least he was a nominee. I'm, I'm pretty sure he won an Oscar. But either that he was a nominee. But I'm pretty sure he won an Oscar. Co correct me if I'm wrong. But still. The fact that he was a nominee. The fact that he was on that way up to greatness on the, on the writing stage that's legendary that's like that's not even just basketball legendary that's like life he's a a legend like like he he lived a he was a legend like he 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 just he's a legend he's a straight legend in life but um this whole thing man so motivate me even more to be to to be great and help people and made me realize man just Appreciate your loved ones, man. Because you never know. You never know, man. But I just want to pay my, pay my respect. And just talk about the situation. Because he's the main reason why. Like, I love basketball. Like, he was never my favorite player. I'm a Spurs fan, but... He was he was he was one of my favorite players to watch. That what like that wasn't part of my team. He was I loved watching Kobe. He loved it. I was a diehard basketball fan. Still I I still am. So everybody like everybody's feeling this pain. Especially if you was a diehard basketball fan. Especially if you're a Lakers fan. You feel this pain. And it's something that's just not gonna really go away anytime soon. But we all gonna fight through it, man. We all gonna Live through it, cause we have no choice. Life moves on. Time waits for nobody. But yeah, man, I want to say thanks again, Kobe, for everything. Rest in peace to Kobe, his daughter Gianna, aka Gigi. And, and by the way, she was. I mean, she. It's crazy. Like she was thirteen, and she was. She played just like Kobe, man. Like she played just like Kobe. And she was on the way. She's gonna. I'm pretty sure she she was gonna make the WNBA. She was that good for her age, and just to see her life just taken away, man, like so early, like she didn't she didn't have a chance to experience a real life. Like it just hurts, man. It's so heartbreaking, man. It's just like sometimes it's just not fair, man. It's just not fair, but but yeah, I want to rest in peace to Kobe again, Gigi. And all the other people in that helicopter crash. I hope all their families receive amazing blessings. And I know they will. I know God will take care of them. I know. But yeah, guys. Um, that's all I have to say. And before I go, I want to say, screw everybody that uses Kobe for views. Like, screw everybody that uses death for views. To try to get views off it. That's just... The most messed up thing ever, man. Like, I needed time to make this video, man. Like, I was... I just didn't feel right. I didn't... I didn't feel like making anything. I didn't feel like doing anything. I just kept thinking about it. Like, what the heck? Like, I, I could... I still can't process it. You know, I, I, it still doesn't feel real. But I... I just wanted to show respect and just make this video, man. I don't care about any of that shit, bro. I don't care this video gets no views. I don't care. I don't care at all, trust me. But, and you monetize, if, 
anybody you know who really doesn't really care and you see videos that's monetized talking about how much they miss Kobe they are faking it and they're doing it for views so many fake people out here y'all be careful who you trust man be careful who you trust study people watch them watch them there's a lot of sneaky people fake people out here man but once again thank you Kobe for everything you've done you made me play basketball you made me want to play basketball you motivated me motivated me to be great not just on the basketball court but just every like just in life I want I want to be great in life I'm gonna be so successful man and I will but thank you again Kobe you're amazing God got a good one in heaven he got a true legend and we'll see you again soon, Kobe. And before I go, comment down your favorite Kobe moment. It could be like funny moment, funny interview, crazy interview, just a basketball moment. Mine, real quick, was the Matt Barnes. One, one of my favorites, so many great Kobe moments, but one of my favorite was the Matt Barnes. When Matt Barnes, like, you know, he like pretend, pretend to throw the ball at him. And Kobe didn't flinch one bit. He's like, what you going to do, man? Come on. That was like, that that right that right there told you everything you need to know about Kobe. And how much he just, he was a killer. Like, he, I man, I can go on and on and talk about Kobe, man. But, I don't want this video to be too long, man. But, yeah, thank you. I, I can't believe, I just can't, I still can't believe it. I just, I, I. I don't know, man. I don't know, but <sighs> thanks for watching, guys. And um, we all gonna get through this, man. It's, it's very tough. Like it's very tough, man. But I appreciate y'all, man. Um, remember, always be just be grateful for what you have in life, because the second it's gone, you it's gonna it's gonna hurt you, man. Just be grateful, man. But yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm out.